All right, family, ghetto news reporter, Mary Dad's Twitter, Mary Lee. Come on. <laughs> you know how this work by now. Good how you doing? What's your name, sir? My name is Moses. Moses? Yes. This is Moses, y'all. Tell me, check with your job. And you didn't bring no, 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 no equipment with you or no, nothing? No, I come and see everything. Get a hold first. So, uh, all right. Okay. Tools. All right. Thank you. You got, you got stuff in the truck or something? All right, get your hands out your pocket, Paul. Oh, Come on now, oh. I'm paranoid, man. Come on, what's you, what? Why, you, look in why your hands in your pocket, Paul? It ain't cold in here. It ain't cold in here, Paul. It ain't, it ain't cold. Now, if you move that sink, it's gonna fall apart. What he did yesterday. Have you used it since? Huh? Have you used it since? Have you tried to use it? I had to put it back, you know, and tighten it up and all that. Otherwise, it would have been water all over the floor. Like when I moved it after I cleaned up everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 What's the number 17 for? Huh? Let me take a close up. What's the number 17 for? This? I don't know. Yeah. I, buy, I, buy, I buy this in a dollar store. It really? I don't know. Moses. Where Aaron at? Huh? Where's Aaron at? You <laughs> Moses, right? Yeah. Where's Aaron? Okay, forget it. Um, okay. We'll be right back. Yeah. How long do you think it'll be? Give me five minutes. How long before you finish this? Uh, like... 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, family. See, the thing is, they took a picture of the work yesterday. Uh, JB did. He took a picture of the uh, work. So all he had to do really was, uh, you understand what I'm saying, come prepared. That's why we have modern technology. You understand what I'm saying? So I have my hard hat on. See, they, they trying to be nosy, man. See how I'm going to come at them and stuff or whatever. So they said five minutes. I'm going to keep this running. It's uh, 9.15. And so he should be back by 9.20. And I'll still have, you know, time on this here video or whatever. So, you know, this is Ghetto News Reporter Mary Dash Twin Mary Lee. Today is Freaky Friday in my city, Chicago. January the 8th, 2021. Now, his name is supposed to be Moses, but he's trying to act like he don't know who Aaron is. You understand what I'm saying? You know, Jay-Z said they dumbed down and doubled their dollars. Let me put my mask on it. They got their mask on. I don't know who the fuck they is. You know what I'm saying? But I know he got number 17 on his shirt. Somebody he got it from the dollar store. How convenient. You know I don't believe that shit, right? You know, just in case motherfuckers shoot me in the head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my I got my hard hat on, you know what I'm saying? For all the ones that work on construction. You understand what I'm saying? You know, you gotta have your hard hat on. You know, I wonder how many people building buildings. You know, fell to their death because of somebody hating on them or whatever the case was. You understand what I'm saying? So when Oprah tore down that goddamn studio of hers in Chicago on Carpenter Street, you understand what I'm saying? I felt that was like kind of disrespectful for, you know, the ones that put that work in the building. Then they gonna put up McDonald's. They love nigga nuggets. Nigga nuggets. That's what they like. Nigga nuggets. I ain't trying to be no nigga nuggets. That's that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. He was eating nigga nuggets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. These motherfuckers look like they ain't missed a meal. And you never know. That might have been old boys father who came yesterday and he just want to see who the fuck I am see they star shit and then they want to blame you but uh you know I don't start shit I finish people started with me and it ended up as being a curse and next thing you know they try to get rid of the curse so you know what did they call Harriet Tubman Moses you understand what I'm saying? 
I'm Mary Lee. I'm Dash Twenty Mary Lee, the ghetto news reporter and the originator of rap. I'm not hearing you accepting. I already led my people out the wilderness into the promised land. And they left me in the fucking wilderness. Imagine that. <sighs> Boy, I tell you. You didn't bring a hammer or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You didn't bring a hammer or nothing. Uh, the shit I go through. Bet they don't be back in five minutes. They like wasting my memories and stuff. You know, I gotta pay for this stuff. I don't get no tax write off or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I pay taxes in my own land, something I'm not supposed to be doing. They don't pay taxes, they probably don't pay for anything. The church definitely don't pay. You know, gangbangers ain't paying taxes. Only real motherfuckers. See how long this takes. Whoopsie! That could have been the police for all I care. Coming in just trying to figure out how they can go from bang to bullets and shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And Paul, he always keeping his hands in his pocket trying to be slick. They always try to make it seem like you're crazy and shit. No, nigga. I ain't crazy. I just don't trust you motherfuckers. You know, if you've been through what I've been through, nigga, you be doing the same shit. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to die, I'm going to die doing me. And that's why I tell motherfuckers, you're going to die, die doing you. I'm your ghetto news supporter, Mary Dash, between the Mary Lee and the originator of rap. And you know I ain't lying. Why did he have the 17 on his sweater? I ain't never seen nothing like that. I ain't even got no shit like that. I think they coming back. Hold on. See, you can't fool people nowadays. Because everybody got a phone and technology. You understand what I'm saying? I'm watching them. They watching me. I'm just showing them how it feels to always have a camera in your face. Ugh, this shit is crazy. Yep. Yep, it's been about five minutes. Yeah, back in the day, your word used to be your bond. A handshake used to mean something. You understand what I'm saying? Now, shit. A smile is just a frown turned upside down. You gotta remember that. See, there's something about this building that's, uh, it must be lucrative or something. Because they've been trying to get me out for the last four years almost some kind of way. A year to the day when I got here, May 31st of 2017. A year later on the same day, May 31st, 2018. Security tried to make it seem as though I was a problem to them. And you got to remember, I got railroaded May 31st, 2008. And you got to remember also that Tulsa, Oklahoma, the bombings happened on May 31st. You understand what I'm saying? You got to remember that the dates mean something. And timing is everything. And when you waste people's time, that's money. Time is money. Yep. Okay, so I just want y'all to understand how this works and stuff. So when people say, you know, you know, oh, she's crazy, she's delusional. No, I'm talking to this goddamn camera. And I'm just showing you how people get railroaded for no apparent reason other than jealousy, envy, and uh, whatever else, shit, I don't know. They trying to wait till this run out and, you know, got to get some more fucking, pay some more money for the goddamn internet, you know. 
it's, it's wasting my money. That's all. I know what what it is. They always got their hands in my pocket. And that's why Paul had his hands in his pocket. It's all symbolism. You understand what I'm saying? Weird. All symbolism. You know, some people like to eat. Some people like to gamble. Some people like to, you know, smoke, drink. You know, that costs money. And who do they go to? People who don't like none of that stuff. People who are on a fixed income, trying to not to, you know, go broke on stupid shit. Ah, these motherfuckers. Still waiting. So you know it's been more than five minutes. But like I said, just keep it simple for my real contractors out there and maintenance men. You know, you're supposed to bring something with you. You know, you just don't knock on a person's door like a stranger or stalker and don't even have no tools, not a tool belt or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? That's like the cable man coming to your house with no cable other than what's between his legs. You see where this is going? So I have to, you know, I am a single person. I have to keep all this in mind. For all you single ladies out there who don't know how this works, you can't trust the cable man. <laughs> ah, I think I think I'm hearing something. My time is almost yeah, now we're going. All right. My 15 minutes is almost up. Booyah! Booyah. You wasted a lot of time, that's for sure. Now you got something. All right. Are you going to be able to... No, keep it open. Keep it open. Keep it open. Keep it open. Uh, you want to open them? Yeah. You want me to put this in? Yeah. Whatever it takes. Uh, so you going to close the door on me. Can you keep the door open, sir? No, For I'm going to put it this to here. Huh? huh? I'm going to put it this to here. I'm going to move. Yeah, you can put, you can bring it out here, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you didn't waste enough of my footage. Don't, yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I don't know how you did it. Do you figure it out, Paul? You ain't slow. You educated. I mean, I got a door. You well, did you go to high school, Paul? Of course I did. What high school you go to? South Shore. South Shore. <laughs> really? School of entrepreneurship. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're, you're, you're a smart genius, huh? I didn't say that. <laughs> Why you didn't take up a trade? You should be doing this. I got a uh, bartending. That's not a trade, Paul. A trade. That got, a, got bartending. Got you're the reason why motherfuckers. Get back, Paul. Give me six feet. You see, I ain't got my mask on, why Paul. Don't you got your mask on? Because this is my motherfucking place. That's why. Yeah, you, should, you shouldn't have the coronavirus, nigga. Shit, go back. <laughs> Straight up. I'm saying. We ain't got the box. Six feet, six feet, six feet. <laughs> For real. It's my place. I know I'm not nasty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just want to see my uh, That's what I'm saying. Okay. Do what you do then, sir. You ain't wasting 15 minutes of my goddamn time. <laughs> but I'm going to put my mask on because, you know, that's part of the. You know, Is it safe for the better? Yeah. I guess. I'll How do it like this. How I feel. How you feel? What the fuck Don't that think mean? It's your hands. What, what do you mean? How I feel? How are you feeling today? How is, how is your your aura what, what, today? I don't know. I, I'm I'm not smelling anything. If that's what you're saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask me no questions if you don't want the truth. I mean, shit. I, I, I asked with the intention of getting the truth. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna always tell you the truth either, Paul. Don't I mean, think. Don't think. Don't think. <laughs> shit. Hey, if it come down to it. In his life or death, I mean, it's you, you, <laughs> shit, man. I'm a lie. Do whatever <laughs> it take. Let's get that shit straight, Mary. Back in my room. Come down to it. We pleading the fifth. We ain't gonna lie. We just gonna plead the fifth. <laughs> we don't know shit. I don't we care. If you, I don't. I, right. Hear no evil. See no evil. For <laughs> real. Let's get that shit straight. Real talk, cause they're not playing fair. <laughs> For real. You know it's that Ti. It's that T.I. and Little Baby song. It's called Pardon. Pardon me, lady. I'm just doing my duty. Drop your jaws and give me some. Gotta go, y'all. Mary Mac, my Irish, step your game up.